Ooh, what's up everybody? It's another day, beautiful here in Colorado. So it is warm, we're gonna get some work done, so let's get to it. It's cold, I'm cold. It is not cold, it's it is cold beautiful. In it You're is in a hoodie. In I am in shorts and flip flops. That's because you're crazy. I am embracing summer because this, we only have like one more day of it before. Not, this is not summer. This is no way. It's been summer. beautiful in the 70s and then Sunday it's going to be 28 with snow. Awesome. Yeah. So, what are we doing, anyways? What are we working on? I guess I'm pulling the transmission out of this thing. Yay, me. Oh, fun. Why are you pulling the tranny out? Because you told me to. That's fair, but why? Uh, because it. So I don't know if you could see it, but let's zoom in here. There's a little plug right there. And when we were converting over to the Holly system, a piece of the plastic uh, pushed in and it may have messed up the O-ring. So unfortunately we got to pull the tranny out because it is now leaking out of that plug. This car is awesome except for the fact that you can't service the transmission while it's in the car. Other than that, we like it. So that was one modification we made sure of with that car is we could pull the pan off the transmission while it's in the car. Let's take everything out. We're gonna pull the seats. Um, we just cut the bottom off the car. I don't know if it would work that way, but. All right, Joe, let's get to it. This is disgusting. So we gotta clean all this out. Yeah. So we gotta get the mounts out next. Uh, unbolt the bell housing. What's left after that? That's pretty much it. Oh, did that bolt come out? It did. Nice. It was, uh, well, I gotta put something on the back of it. If you think a stripped bolt is bad, a stripped bolt with Loctite is even worse. <laughs> There's so much Loctite. There's so much Loctite on this car. Corey had someone race prep this thing and holy moly, they went to town with Loctite. They were very liberal with it too. Loctite everywhere! I hate this part. I really hate this part. Smells very multi fresh. <laughs> multi -cash. Giant pile of kitty litter to clean that. I wish we could pull this outside and spray it off before we stick it back in, which we may. But did you see the fun part? It is now over. So now we gotta open that up, fix one tiny seal, and then shove it back in there. But at least going in is a little easier than coming in. Is it? Well, you know, you have gravity on your side. Kinda, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, just about all these bolts pulled. Got a few more to go here, and uh, we can see what's inside. Now, yeah. for the big 
reveal. See, look at that. It's already going to pop off. A pan with no RTV. Yay. All right. We go there. RTV. Use the seal. Pop out of there. I know. That's what I mean. And there is the inside of the tranny. And this right here is the issue that we're having when that got, you can kind of see that got pushed in. And it has to sit in this little channel right here to pop in the right way. How's the O-ring? Because the biggest thing we need to check was the O-ring. Yeah, well, I guess, we'll, I mean, it looks, visually, the O-ring looks fine. The question is, is it too flattened out from use that it won't uh, Well, it's a brand new O-ring. Pop right? in there, is it? Okay. Yeah. Well, if I just kind of pop that in, that's all it is. That literally is why we just <laughs> spent two and a half hours pulling it out of the car. The biggest problem is when this plug gets plugged in, it pushes that in. So one fix that we can do, so this is my tranny on the IFS car, and you can see a couple screws on there, and it's just enough to catch it from the outside to keep it from pushing in. Works really good, so we're gonna do that. I'm doing this on the lightest setting possible. Put one more down there. Probably right there, so it's more like a triangle. Okay. There yeah, I felt go. that one push in a little bit. Um, but I think, yeah, I think it's all right. Okay. I think it's fine, dude. I wouldn't go any more than that. So what we did is we pushed this out, seated it, and then we put these screws in it. Right there, right there, and right there. And it keeps this plug from pushing in now because it can't, it literally cannot go in. So that fixes that problem. Now we gotta put it back in. Ha, not really. It's tomorrow. We're not putting the tranny back in. That's boring. So we're gonna actually wait to get it back in because the inside of the vehicle is super dirty. We wanna get that outside, get it cleaned up, get everything just scrubbed clean, and there's some there's a lot of purple in there that still needs to, look at all that purple. I mean, look, there's just purple, 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 all that purple. And uh, we wanna, oh, I just stuck in some stuff. Ew, we wanna get that sprayed black. So uh, one thing that we've been needing to get done, a lot of people have been asking about is this. It's my mask. Ooh, it's so shiny. So Preston at Garage Idiots made us some hydro dipped. Okay, we made the panels, but he hydro dipped them. and. We've been needing to get them on for a while. Oh wow, look how shiny it is, it's like a mirror. Good job Preston, for what this is, it's perfect. So those are for the IFS rig. So we are gonna get those things pumped out, get a little bit of wiring done to get the lights hooked up and wrap this thing up with some sick carbon fiber hydro dip panels from Preston. What? Joe, do you remember which wire is which on here? Do what? Do you remember which wire's which? One's a brake light and one is a driving light. I guess we'll find out. So I just learned that Daniel is a <laughs> You can You can bleep that out on your own. What? That's so mean. No, so. I, I, I don't remember which is which, so I'm gonna go touch the other end of this to the battery and he'll do his thing back here and we'll see which is which, because one wire's for the brake light from the pressure switch and the other is just whenever the car is on, these lights need to be on. So. And why is one not red and one not black, you ask? Because this is bulk wire, it's cheaper, and normally we don't have I this- I already had it! He already had it, and we don't normally have this big of a gap between- Touch your yeah, tongue wire. to the red wire. I'm not touching my tongue to the red wire. Do it! I will- Do it! Connect this here. Connect it here. Hang on. All right, there is one on there. Are you touching something? Is this switched? I don't know. Is the power on? This. This is power. Okay. Anything? Nothing. Nothing? Do you okay. want me to switch wires or are you switching wires? No, me. Okay. Anything? Nothing. I'm red and black. You want red and black? I guess it doesn't matter because this is a two color light, isn't Anything? it? Anything? Nothing. What? Nothing. Seriously? Yeah, I can switch off a red and go to white if you want. Are you, are you grounded? Uh, well, it's grounded to the wire. Are you not? I got both wires touching. Oh, 
So wait, you want the ground going to the, the chassis then? Yeah. Oh. Well, I thought one of those. I thought one of these was a ground wire. That's my bad. No, both are going to be hot. I didn't know that. I thought one was a ground. Yeah, there we go, right there. What color is that? Red. And now you're blinking. So. And it actually looks like you're sending Morse code to me right now. What are you saying? Oh. Okay, to make our life a little easier, uh, we're gonna put heat shrink on this one so we know, cause this will be going to the amber light. And then this one, we're gonna put a piece of red heat shrink on because it's going to be going to the brakes. Wire man, wire man, does whatever a wire man can. I don't know that that's an actual song. Oh man, Joe's lost his sense of humor. That looks pretty, man. That looks good. That looks real good. Um, yeah, I like it. The only thing left now is simply just connect the wires all together, right? Let me figure this out and we'll uh, light it up. He's on fire! Looking really good, man. Does indeed. You did a really good job. Really good job. All right, hey, we got the wiring done. So time to test it out. Go! Hit those lights. Oh snap! That's bright. Hit the brakes. That's really bright. Dope! Can't see anything, but it looks awesome! Got a driving lights, looking great. Brake lights, brake, off. Brake. Yeah! So, do you like the panels? Yeah, they look great. <laughs> yeah, they turned out really good. I love how this back end looks though. Those, those lights look good and all the panels starting to get them on. Oh, it's clean. Preston did a good job. Got a few little things. We got to modify this one here. Uh, our exhaust comes out right there and well, that's a problem. So this guy will probably get trimmed right there or something. And then uh, Joe got some of these ones on over there. Next up is the wrapped panels, and this guy will be all decked out. So, yeah, got tranny out, got all that going on. We'll get that back in once we get that cleaned out. Uh, next steps on this guy, I don't know what we're doing. Uh, we started working on some pulley stuff because we want to do some stuff with the belts and just some extra tensioners, but we'll talk about that later. Uh, so past that, uh, we're just going to keep kind of rocking things out on Oso and getting this guy going. We should have a few more things for the dash coming in soon. And then, uh, yeah, we'll just kind of take it as it comes. <laughs> Where are you, Joe? Oh. My big head is in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, it's late. Well, we hope everyone enjoyed the video. If you're not subscribed, get subscribed. If you like the video, give us a big thumbs up. Leave us some comments down below. Your comments uh, help our videos out and we love talking to all our subscribers. So make sure you're talking to us and telling us what you like, what you don't like, what you wanna see on the channel and what you wanna see us do. So with that, it is late, time to go. This bump for... It's a new fad. I think Joe needs a new hoodie. He's got like a hole in it. Holy cow. But look at that thing. Grinder got a hold of it. <laughs> we need to start a GoFundMe for Joe's hoodie. Fist bump for you.